Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa, during a tour of the Chinese company Grand East Seafood Processing, said that he is impressed with what he has seen as it will aid in the creation of jobs since the closure of the sugar estates have put a strain on former sugarcane workers and their families. That put a strain on many of the families and they had to went, they went back to fishing. Many of them went to fishing and as a result of that, now they are getting a ready market and we welcome that so that they can, as you rightly said, that they are not only fishing only our fish five days per week, but they're fishing our fish almost every single day. And that will help our economy and also help them economically to earn a proper income. Upon sampling already processed shrimp and giving his approval, the minister noted that in the near future, additional farmers from not only West Coast Demerara, but East and West Coast Berbice will be joining the aquaculture sector as it expands and creates jobs, as well as large-scale exporting regionally and internationally. We have an aggressive team working to look at the barriers that are um, hampering our trade in the Caribbean and other parts of the world. So we'll be working on places like you will have the kind of opportunities also to get new markets, not only in Asia and China and Europe, but also in the Caribbean, where you could export your produce, uh, products. According to the Ministry of Agriculture, the facility was constructed at a cost of 25 million U.S. dollars and is prepared with new seafood processing equipment. The Chinese-owned company is a subsidiary of Hongdong Fisheries Company Limited, a company headquartered in China which specializes in processing and trading of fishery products. It is the largest comprehensive fishery enterprise and has the largest number of fishing vessels in China, abundant product categories, and a complete industrial chain. Given the track record of the parent company, it is anticipated that Grand East Seafood Inc. will reveal the hidden potential of Guyana's aquaculture sector, which is pegged to be an economic powerhouse in the coming years. For the Newsroom, I am Sheena Henry.